Now Google recommends that you create folders on your web server and this is just like creating folders on your hard disk. I mean why would you normally create folders on your hard disk? It's really to organize things. So let's say you've got an example of say a pet shop website. What you could do is you create one folder called cats, another folder called dogs and then all the pages that you create that relate to cats could go into the cats folder. All the pages that you create that relate to dogs could go into the dogs folder. And the reason for doing this is because Google actually suggests that you do this. You organize things in a hierarchical structure and you use folders with SEO friendly names. So as you see this diagram is actually taken from a Google website. It's this one here. If we go and look at it in detail, this is taken from the support, Google support website. Now if I just scroll down here, as you can see there's lots of information, here we go. It's talking about creating a navigation system or a structure that's hierarchical. So in this case it's suggesting well if you're going to have news, why not sort of divide them into you know, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011. Basically, you group them into relevant folders. So I say Google suggests you do this. So the question is, well, how do you do it in something like WordPress? Well, in WordPress, let's say I wanted to create a folder called training. It sounds a bit odd, but just stick with it. What I'll do first is within WordPress, I'll go and create a new page. And I'm just simply going to call this page training and I'm going to publish it. So what I've done is I just simply created a page called training. Now, effectively, I'm going to turn this page into a folder. Sounds a bit strange, but stick with it. I'll go and create another new page. So I'll click on uh, Add New. And in this case, I'm just going to type in the phrase, say, SEO training. Now, in this case, if I click where it says Page Attributes are over here, you see where it says Parent Page? If I click on the down arrow here and select Training, and then click click on publish this is now a child of the parent page which in this case is training so I'm going to create another page it'll become clear why I'm doing this in a minute so I'm going to create another page and we're going to call this WordPress training and again if I click on the page attributes in necessary to open this up where it says parent page I'll click on the down arrow and select training and I'll publish it. And I'm going to do one more. And I'm going to call this one YouTube training. And again, in the parent page, I'll click on the down arrow. And can you see what's happened here? You're beginning to see why I'm doing this because uh, those two pages there were child pages of the training page. So as you can see, they're um, underneath or at a subfolder level, if you, if you like. So again, I'm going to select training here, click on publish. Now, if I go and view this page, you'll be able to see why I went to all that bother. So let's click on view page. Forget all that bit there, because this is just a test website. But the point is, the YouTube training page, which is this one here, is in a subdirectory called training. So training was the parent, and YouTube training was the child. You get the idea? So from Google's point of view, when it actually reads the entire URL structure here, it extracts the word training, which is the name of the subdirectory, and it extracts the name YouTube training, which is the name of this particular file. Again, if I go back and look at one of the other pages, so if I go and look at, say, um, the WordPress one, you can see the way they're listed here, that is the parent, these are the child. Let's go and bring up the WordPress training uh, file. If I go and view this page, as it will be seen on the website, again, WordPress training is the name of this particular page, but it's in a subdirectory called training. So from Google's point of view, when it reads the URL, it extracts the word training, which is taken from the uh, subfolder, and in this case, the word WordPress training, which is the name of the uh, actual uh, individual page. Essentially, this has given us an extra opportunity to sort of sneak in an SEO-friendly phrase, in this case, just the word training. 
Um, in this case, I've got training and WordPress training, so it's a little bit repetitive. What I may, what I should have done really was called this tutorials or something similar rather than training. So that way, Google would have extracted the the SEO phrase tutorials from the um, subdirectory or folder name, and the words uh, SEO training from the file name for the particular page. But I think you get the idea. So that's how you create folders, and that's how essentially you create a sort of parent-child folder um, relationship within WordPress.